Good Sunday morning. It's time for my weekly garden tour. I'm going to start inside again today. It has turned to fall like overnight. We had summer and now we have fall. <laughs> so it's raining. I did a lot of yard work before the rain came yesterday on Saturday. I dug in on Friday I, and Saturday. I dug and divided my crocosmia, which I've never done before. And let me tell you, if you ever dig and divide crocosmia, do not wait as long as I did because that was a beast <laughs> beast okay to move like the big root ball and then oh yeah I still I found new muscles and I'm still a little bit sore from that but anyway my name is Mary and every week I do a garden tour um, I don't really go into specifics of how I do things because I my my specialty on my YouTube channel if you're watching this and know me is like music so this is just for fun I'm documenting my garden this year you can watch it or not. <laughs> so um, uh, earlier this year, I had trans I had div dug and divided inside. I had this banana tree I've had forever, and it had offshoots and babies. So I repotted those this year. So now I have three banana plants, and now the big banana plant um, is producing another little baby. So I don't know. They, banana plants like to grow in my house, but I'm going to start with showing you how those are doing because they're doing pretty well. I mean, bananas and leaves can get kind of brown, but you just cut those off and they grow new ones. So as long as you keep them watered, I have pretty good luck. I Actually, they do better in my house if I don't put them in my sunniest window because they get sunburned pretty easy. So I put them in my kitchen. I got them in, and that's where two of them are, and then I got one in my dining room. We'll see how it goes. But I have a lot of windows in my house. Like, my house is a big window, so yeah. So here is my oldest banana plant, um, and it's growing a new puppy. This just started a few weeks ago, and this is one one of its puppies <laughs> that um, I transplanted and, and divided off the, the root ball. So it's doing okay. I planted it kind of crooked, but it's okay. And um, this is this is the north facing window, but. It also has a west-facing window. There's mine on my cats. Um, so it is. It's a. It's a. It's in my kitchen. So it, there is a lot of light, but it is not my south-facing windows. And I just moved this one to this window. This is a west-facing window. This is in my dining room, but there's again there's there's a lot of natural light because there's that window. Even though it the west it's blocked by those big trees outside, so. It's a shaded west-facing window, but it also has a north-facing window. Um, and then this, I don't know what that is called, but I got a couple of them. So there's that. And then I moved this peace lily. I'm still trying to find the right location for this peace lily. I, I read they do okay in the dark, so this is a pretty dark spot because it's away from the windows, and then it's kind of in this corner. I'll probably end up moving that, but I just don't know where yet. Here is my lime tree. I moved it inside yesterday and put a grow light over it um, because it's just going to be wet and not very warm for like the foreseeable future. <laughs> so, and it has all these blossoms on it. I mean, it's just, it has a couple limes started. I just, I just want to make sure I get these limes. So I had my paintbrush out and I was pollinating it just to make sure. I mean, it's it had been outside since yesterday, so... I think the bees and the birds and the wind were doing okay, but I just, when I brought it inside and put it under the, 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 sun, the sun lamp, I just, I was like, I really want to get as many lines as possible. I got a couple. This happened to the leaves, some of the leaves last year, but it's overall, I this is the second year I've had the plant, and I've done a much better job caring for it. So it's looking healthier going into fall this year than it did last year. And my dog is barking. The other ridiculous move, <laughs> well, not ridiculous. I mean, if you live somewhere warm, you're gonna be like, what are you doing? But so this was my okra. I moved it inside this weekend because of the weather. And I, cause I just wanna see how long, I still haven't got any okra. <laughs> and this, these are in pots and I got them under a, a sunlight. <laughs> And I just want to see if now that they're indoors that I can, I just want to see how long they'll live. I mean, if I can get um, at least a flower because <laughs> it's been so cold outside. I haven't, 
they've tried to flower, but I just haven't, they haven't succeeded. And then, so anyway, so this is my little bit of my pet project. It's totally preposterous and ridiculous, but I brought my okra in just to see if I can get it to keep growing and produce something. So we'll see how tall I can get it. You know, it's like a backdrop to my digital piano. <laughs> On other houseplant news, uh, my orchids, this it just grew this new leaf this month. So that's exciting because I repotted them and they survived and are growing and um, I need to repot this or orchid somebody gave it to me because somebody gave it to them and they didn't want to kill it but I'm like, kind of waiting for it not to quit blooming but I need to pot it like these are but I don't have another orchid pot and then this orchid it hasn't grown another leaf yet but it's growing it's growing a new root so it's happy and healthy I think so anyway that is and I don't know what these houseplants are. They're just, they were in gift boxes that people give me and I just trying to keep them alive. So anyway, let's go out, let's go outside, shall we? Oops, let's close that face shot. Oh wait, I got one more thing before we go outside. I got one more thing, got one more thing. My new grow light shelf. <laughs> so I've always wanted one of these and I finally bought one. I finally bought one. I found one on Amazon. I got it all put together. So um, I've got, I don't have much in here yet, but come springtime, oh, here are my saguaros. Um, they're actually doing pretty good in here. They got little, they're starting to be little, little cactuses. And I'm just trying to propagate um, some Christmas cactus. Those are beets. I know I'm going to transplant those pretty soon. And I got this fern. I almost killed that. I had to put it in a jar because it needs humidity. And I, I, I let it out of my sight for watering for like, I don't even know what it is. Um, it's, it's attractive, but I just got to keep it in a jar because it almost died. It came in a variety pack of ferns I bought on Amazon. And these are doing okay. I didn't transplant them yet, but I'm going to get to that. But anyway, so I am looking forward to growing seeds uh, this spring. So that's exciting to me. <laughs> All right, my porch, it's empty. <laughs> well, it's not empty. I just moved everything. <laughs> I moved everything down here because this right here is a wind tunnel. And we're supposed to get stormy south winds. And that's... They just come swoop. <laughs> so I moved all my vegetables over to this more protected area of the porch. So I've got my beets and my lettuce and my carrots and some zinnia, some cabbage and broccoli and sage and spinach and my peas and my kale, more lettuce, some oregano, some tarragon and my cactus trying to decide when to bring my cactuses in but so far they're just there um my fuchsia it should be good outside until it, it should until the forecasted lows are below 40 and then i bring it in so it's got time and this is a pretty warm corner i mean in last night it only got down to 55 so it's sunny days are um are actually colder at night this time of year than than the cloudy days um, and my forget-me-nots I need to I bought little pots to plant these individually but I'll get to that oops spin spin yeah anyway so a little little porch maintenance that's looking good aster I moved every yeah, I moved everything against up against the walls for this this week cuz now I, I um, these are plants I'm going to give away. Um, it's mostly succulents. <laughs> I dug these out of my garden when I was um, um, digging up my um, crocosima. So I will put these out for my students' families and put a free sign on them. I did that last week with a whole bunch of iris bulbs and they all got taken. So we'll see how they feel about <laughs> about uh, succulents. I do have these. I, I don't know what they are. They're a perennial. They're a purple flower. I think they're a kind of aster. 
to look back through my photos in my um, but they come back every year but they were all kind of clumped together they didn't do very well this year but now I know why I think um, but I replanted quite a few but those are just extra so I'll give those away too that's still fine we'll see hopefully the wind this, the wind comes zooming up here it doesn't blow anything over I just gotta keep track of the wind because it can get a little dicey especially it's supposed to get 25 to 30 mile an hour winds we'll see that I might need to move some more stuff Last week I said I was going to dig up this kind of, I did it, semicircle, and I got to it. <laughs> so those are the cro cro crocosoma I replanted. So they're all nice and tidy. They're in bundles. I stake them because I want to let the leaves die back naturally before I cut them off. But anyway, <laughs> those are the ones I kept. And I have a whole bunch more that I am going to give away uh, this week. I just have to plant them I have right now they're kind of sitting in a bin and then when I was digging up this whole spot I took out some of these succulents I left the ones along my rocks because that's where I want them but they were kind they were kind of starting to take over this whole thing and I'm sure all those little bits of them that I I need will grow back but I found my bulbs but I don't know what they are I mean I know kind of what 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 was in here like there was some Siberian irises and some tulip, not too many tulips, and some daffodils, some variety of daffodils. And, but when I started digging, I didn't know which was what. <laughs> so I put them all in one bin as I was digging. So I just planted batches of bulbs and they, they're going to be a mixture. So we're going to find out. And I still have more in my garage I got to plant. And I had a pink lily back there that wasn't doing as well this year. And I, I, I divided that and, and replanted it, so hopefully I didn't kill it, because that was the one I was least... I have more lilies I want to do that to, but I need to wait, because it doesn't seem like it was quite dormant. And they're not dormant yet. They're not... They're done growing, but... Anyway, so I did kind of get this... I got this situated. <laughs> but that... This little area was a lot of work. <laughs> um, so, my irises... Um, they're going to die back, but I got them replanted. Yeah, so we're just heading into fall. And things are just going to kind of start to start to deteriorate. But I'm just going to try to keep everything looking as good as it can. And kind of, I'm working on this fall. I want to kind of get things restructured. So my next major project is this spot. I'm just working around. So kind of dig and divide some of these uh, in a month or so and I'm going to finish digging and dividing these irises whoops before I'm not irises lilies before fall yep so just maintain my annuals and as long as I can until they just decide it's <laughs> the weather's too 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 bad for them oh I did have some annuals from a, the grow packet that I, I put down there that wasn't growing very well and I let's go check on them. I haven't looked at them for two days because it just poured down rain yesterday. Um, my sunflowers. I planted oh I planted my extra flowers that I dug up in in here and they're actually they're actually pretty happy in here so that's that's good. I don't know exactly what they are but they're looking better, so I got a little flower garden going on here. Okay, well that'll that'll be good till till frost. <laughs> All right. So here's some of my uh, crocosmia that I'm giving away. I have them, I have them in bunches of little pots, but I secured these behind <laughs> this for the wind and the rain that's coming on. But um, the rest of them I haven't. I had to. I have to get more pots, more little pots. I, I ordered some. Um, they're in the garage so I'll show you what I have left so here's my bucket full of crocosmia and these are all the other ones I'm just I'm gonna give these away because I don't have anywhere to put them I just dumped the potting soil in there right now but I'll them to put them in packs of um, five or six and give them away this week or in next week so so that's that'll be fun people really like getting free stuff so that was fun and then here's my bulbs like I said, I don't know what what's what, um, but I got I got those. I was 
put some sawdust on those. I do have a few more iris bulbs. Maybe I'll find room to plant those. I don't know. And then there's more bulbs in here. Anyway, so these are just my leftovers. I'm really thinking maybe I'll um, <laughs> uh, just pot those bulbs in like little pots and um, put them outside and let them over winter and then see what grows in the pots in the spring and then <laughs> I'll know what my bulbs are and then I'll keep better track. Anyway, <laughs> so that's that's my garden tour for today. I, I don't think I'm gonna go out on the trails today. It's wet and I gotta go do stuff. Anyway, so fall gardening at Mary's house. <laughs> Talk to you later. So see you next week. Bye-bye.